finishing second this season. And one of the rare swimmers that have broken 30. Most in this field have not. She is the only one rated in the top 10. Off to that early lead in the red is starting to pop up a little bit. Can't cannot tuck her though. She's the 10th fastest in the ISL this season. But Huckle looks pretty good. Trying to get it for Iron. They need this win and they're going to get it. First and fourth. Albeit halving the distance. But they're doing it three times. Yeah, Hoko won the 50 yesterday. So you know she's got that great speed, and she had speed early on in that Medley relay. So I, I really think she's going to take it out the first 50 and just kind of hang on from a charging Tucker and even maybe a Renshaw, who won the 200 breaststroke. Actually, Wood won the 200 breaststroke, but Renshaw was right there. Holko scored 19 and a half points yesterday. Ah, Renshaw looking really good, which is good news because she's got such a great 200. So if she can get that early speed going early on, she'll look great over there in the far right lane number seven. Miranda Tucker, they're trying to get back in the mix. She's all the way over to the left in lane number two. Boy, this is a good one. No jackpot going on here. Even Watanabe pushing up. But Renshaw trying to move into first for the breakers, and Renshaw gets it done. Bernie had a chance to spend some time with Lily King's coach last night. Ray Luz from Indiana, and he talked about her races during her career and and how proud he was of that 200 breaststroke at the Olympic Games when he and her teammate, when uh, excuse me, when Lily and her teammate Annie Laser finished with that silver and bronze, she went her best lifetime in that 200 meter breast long course. So I think it has given her confidence this yeah. ISL season to have that kind of continue in a way to have a good 200 breaststroke. She knows she has the speed. She's always been able to rely on that, but she's always come back in the ISL the last 50. Come back to the field a little bit on the third 50, but she yep. powers through that last one. And again, that's one of the big keys for her is that obviously that's one of the things that makes Lily King so unique is that she can win the 50 and the 100, but also that she can be so dominant and the 200 because you see on the men's side it's become its own specialty if you will a lot of times you're not seeing the same person win the 50 as you do when the 200 Peaty. yeah i mean adam Peaty is the best sprint breaststroker in history right i think yeah he doesn't even swim the 200 right right so yeah lily king has, has taken it up and she has told me over and over the last couple years that she actually trained this year for the 200 that that's what she was pointing to, more so than the 100 itself. And again, this is where she comes back to the field. This is just what I was saying. Look how big of a lead she had at the 100 mark. She was two seconds ahead of everybody at the field at the 100 mark, and now that has slipped to about a second. And here they come charging on. They got Abby Wood and Renshaw up there in seven and eight. New York would love to get some help here. Wog looks a whole lot better, albeit that she is currently fourth for Toronto. And as they turn to come home, Lily King trying to win this 200 breaststroke for the 13th time in her career. She's going to do it. it this is exactly as it was all planned out. Wow. New York, Renshaw and Wood.